I'm having a headache about a decision I'm about to make. I'm very independent. I have my own business I'm running, great apartment, started a couple of other businesses and a building project. At this stage, I will say the only thing I lack is a husband. Economically, I'm fine. Financially, I don't have any problem. Now, the issue is that I recently met a gentleman, widowed, with a five-year-old daughter. He wants to settle down with me ASAP. Now, this settling down thing scares me terribly. I feel marital responsibilities are going to rob me of my independence. On my own, I'm a terrible workaholic and I panic at the thought of the marriage thing. I need some counseling. Hmm. Drea, she uh, needs counseling. But she needs counseling. Yeah, actually, she does. <laughs> yeah. You do need counseling. Okay. So, you need to be ready to marry before you marry. She doesn't sound ready to marry. And she's right. Marriage will rob you of some of the independence that you have now. I find the ASAP part of the proposal a bit questionable. What's the rush? What's the rush? So yes, he's widowed and he has a five-year-old. It's possible he's looking for a woman to, did she say daughter or son? Daughter. Daughter, okay. So it's possible he's thinking, oh, I need a woman in my daughter's life to help raise her. But that's not necessarily her responsibility. Hmm. You get what I mean? So don't, you need to be ready to marry before you marry. If you're not ready to marry, don't do it. Hmm. Because yes, you are, and, and when you've been independent for a long time, it's very hard to make some of the sacrifices that even a common relationship requires. And when you move from relationship to marriage, depending on who you're married to, the sacrifices can get even bigger. Mm. If these are sacrifices you're not ready to make, you will struggle. And that's how most of these divorces, it's, it's, it's a matter of people not being willing to sacrifice or compromise or all of that and all of that. And when you've been independent for a very long time, look, you answer to yourself, your money, everything is... It's, it's up to you. Once you bring on somebody, especially if that somebody is an African man. <laughs> hmm. You said it. <laughs> if that person is an African man, it's like reducing your independence from 100% to like 2%. Especially because you have your own money. Because if you say fe, hey. it's because she has her own yes. money. <laughs> if you say fa, mm, it's because she bought this in the house. Yeah. You will be resented for the money that you have worked for by a person who started off as loving you. And so for if your you're independence. not. Uh, you, I, <laughs> as for the independence, yeah. please, you will be labeled a witch. <laughs> you're a workaholic. Oh, she does, it's good to work. His mother. She doesn't, even she cook. doesn't cook for my son. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie, if you are not ready, please, like you said, you need counseling. My advice, do go to a professional counselor. If you choose not to, please, in your heart of hearts, in your head of heads, is marriage marrying you? Do you want to marry? And yeah, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear you. Uh, I mean, marriage is a very big decision to make. And especially because it's not just about you. It's other people involved. And it's other lives. Um, and um, you need to be ready to be able to say, okay, I'm ready. I've met this person. I'm in love. I am good to go, good to settle. And um, marriage is, it requires you to open up yourself to love and to love others and to be accommodating of others and to be patient of others. It requires a lot of, of hard work, a lot of tolerance. And um, the last thing you want to do is to rush into marriage. Already we have people who are so much in love getting married and then all of a sudden after two, three months, it's like, okay, I think I made a mistake. I don't want to marry you anymore or I'm no longer in love with you. So, Already, I didn't, I didn't, you didn't come across as, oh, you know, you found this man, you're so in love, um, you don't know what to do, so how do you juggle both, you know, um, your career, what you're doing, and then him coming in with his child. Like, 
I mean, you're not even talking about emotions here. You're like, bam, 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 bam. Charlie, I love my space. I love my work. I love what I do. I'm making money. I'm good to go. And um, that comes from, you know, you've worked hard to, to attain the status that you have right now. And to be honest, I don't think that there's, there's anything wrong with that. But then again, flip the coin, okay? There's time and season for everything. Um, um, and you, you have to be ready. And um, if if you think that marriage is not the thing for you, I mean, don't get into it. It's a whole, like, I, 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 I thank you for at least acknowledging that you need counseling and you need somebody to actually talk to you about this. And I'm so happy that you know in your heart of hearts that you're not ready. Okay, because I feel like people quickly rush into marriage and immediately there's divorce, the kids are affected. Like, Charlie, it's not a matter of 10 minutes ceremony and then how many years down the line, like too many ripple effects. It affects a lot of things. So you need to be ready to get into the, this whole marriage endeavor. And truth be told, I don't also think that you should be hard, hard on yourself. To be honest, me, my Bible tells me that as not everybody who, you know, is meant to get married. Okay, I mean, marriage is a gift. If some people are born to be to get married, some people are just, you know, they're not supposed to get married. And it's just that we find ourselves in such a society that's like, you know, um, forcing us, you know, you have to get married, you have to do this at this time, do that at that time. But if you think that it's something that's not your cup of tea, honestly, this is what I think. Pray on it and don't get into it. What you can do is to devote your time, your life into ministry work, into something that touches people's lives. You could even um, get into like, um, you know, these orphanages, children, like do something with yourself. Don't tie yourself down because society demands that you need to get married and you need to take boxes. But then again, you know, having said that, it's not just you and it's not just your life, okay? Uh, there are other people around you. There's mom, there's dad, you know. Um, you know, they'll definitely come up with conversations about, oh, my grandchildren, when are you going to get married soon and all of that. But always know that everything has to stem from a place whereby you are comfortable, you've taken that decision, you want to live by that decision and you intend to be happy with the decision that you've made. Okay, so by, by all means, try as much as possible to get, you know, extra help, extra support, counseling help externally. Because, I mean, we're, we're just talking based on our experiences and what we honestly think. But at the end of the day, the last thing you want to do is to rush into marriage and feel and, and regret that decision. Don't do it because you end up becoming miserable and you'll make other people miserable as well. And for this young man who is in your life, I think that you should have that honest, brutal conversation with him. Tell him exactly how you feel. Because I don't think you even you're really into him like that. You know, you'd rather choose what you do in your space and, and all of that, um, as opposed to being with him. But then again, so if you also think that, I mean, you're at a point whereby you actually we are considering getting married. You need to really, really work on yourself because you are used to your space, you are used to how you do things, and you need to work on that because it takes a lot to be able to, to live with people. I mean, siblings even fight. How much more a man that you wake up to every morning, like they, they're not going anywhere because you're married to them and you need to do that with so much love. You need to love the person because it makes it easier for you to wake up in the morning and look at their faces and enjoy life with them and the entire journey of marriage with them. So this is absolutely your decision to make. Take it and live by it and by all means be happy. I won't force you to get married. I, I'll definitely tell you to um, use your, the resources that you have to do something much more with your life. So much more. You can help people, you can you can adopt, you can do so much with your life than to be pinned down with the label of, oh, everybody's getting married, therefore I also need to get married. Yeah. Do you pray on it and do what makes you happy. Thank you, Olivia. Um, Gail, what do you think? Okay, what struck me was she said, I, what, after looking at her situation and listing all her achievements, I have an apartment, I'm building that, 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 that and then next is like, I like a husband, it's like, it's not so Some, to her, something's missing in the pictures. Like, like saying, I lack a sofa, or I lack 
uh, I don't know. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like mm. something just she feels she just has to put in there to complete the picture. The picture so yeah. you already, you are. Um, I don't know how to call it. You, you're you're dealing with this guy from the wrong angle. It's like I have to just put in a guy in there. You met the guy recently, and it's because your mental. Um, how do you call it? Help Maybe me. even societal pressure. Yes, mm. tells you that I have to bring in a guy. So you right. just met the guy, and already somebody who sounded so sure of herself, if you read the beginning of the mm -hmm. whole thing, she was, look how she was talking. Mm -hmm. She said, I have this, I have that, I have that. And then, then suddenly... She didn't say, like, I'm not married or anything. She mm -hmm. said, yes. I lack yes. a husband. Yes. Can you, you, that's a yeah. serious that's thing. thing yeah. Yeah. The only thing if I If I don't get that, then it's like, everything else don't mean nothing. That's what society conditions, especially women, to feel like. Meanwhile, aside that, you sounded so okay. So if you feel you want to have that, it should be having that because you think that person or whatever it is is bringing something else. Even though I always say you need to be complete first. I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to people saying that I need somebody to kind of complete me. You have to be complete mm -mm. on your own. Mm -mm. So what is that person bringing? Ask yourself. You just met the guy. I'm sure the guy is looking for a mother for his daughter. Mm. That's, That's what I, yeah, so both of you are, you know, from the, for the wrong reasons. He just saw, you know, let's get married. Maybe he wants sex. Mm -hmm. You two, yeah, all, you know, going crazy. Me cry, the whole thing has got me all, you know, <laughs> worked up. crazy, worked up. I'm thinking, what is this? Like, if, if, if you're so scared about the official, you know, officialness, if I can say that, of the whole thing, just get to know him. If it's like sex or whatever it is that you, you lack, I prefer to rather say that. You lack, that I you lack, lack sex. sex or I lack, you know, maybe my hormones are, you know, raging, raging and I need <laughs> <laughs> At least then you can, you know, talk or something. Then you can start from there, get to know. Maybe you need someone to actually talk to a human being or something. Why don't you start from, yeah, start from that angle. That will keep your mind, make you relax a bit. Because maybe <sighs> the mind thing scares you. And I don't even know why. I feel like you should know people first, and then if you think that whatever you guys have, it's enough to make it official, then you do the marriage thing. Mm. But people, you know, they do it the other way. They want to marry first before they now start going through the steps, getting to know the person. Are we compatible? I mean, do I even like him? They're doing it from the other way around. So mm. I think if to make you more relaxed, get to know the guy, you hang out, get to know the child, because the child is also another responsibility. Right. You know, mm. bringing someone, another daughter in who may not even like you, may not even be another responsibility. It's a mental thing, you know, because you need to deal with a guy and his daughter. You don't know what happened when the girl, you said that he's a widow, right? Mm. That's another, you know, it's, 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 it's also some, some other baggage that he's coming with. Assuming it's true. Ah, you see? So if I were you, you that you sound like you, you know, you have everything. Yeah, or, yeah think twice. So, you know? so this, this is not to say that yeah. marriage is a bad no thing. No way. This is not to say because you have everything, you don't, you don't need to be married. Yeah. This is to say, recognize that one, you're enough. And mm. so not having a husband is not a lack. Yeah. Okay, you are enough as, as you are. Even without all of your achievements, mm. you are enough. Mm. I believe that what everybody around this table is saying is, one, be ready, be sure that indeed marriage, because marriage is supposed to be for life. Mm. That I think a lot of people don't approach it that way. If same way you would approach a new job, taking up a new job, you think it through. Is this what I want to do? Yeah. Will I enjoy this? Is this what I want? What value does this person bring to my life? Yeah. You've listed all of your achievements, all of the things that you've done. What value? And all you've said is he's a widow and he has a five-year-old. No, is, no. is that all he brings so to the table? You know the a five-year-old? You, you, you recently yeah. just met him. So. Do you want to hitch your wagon to a horse that you do not know? I don't think so. So I guess all we're saying is think it through. And be sure that you're ready, because like I said, African man, I'm sure you get your own money now. Mm. Mm. All right. I'll just add my voice to it briefly. Um, so my thoughts. I think that, yes, it can be really difficult letting other people into your life, especially when you feel like you've done it all, yeah. you know. But at the end of the day, you can't talk to your car 
mm. or your houses yeah. or your business. Everybody needs somebody. Mm. Now, I wouldn't have had a problem if she said to me that she was dating this guy and he wants to sort of take yes. the relationship to the next, next level. level. Yep. But yeah, I've even done that. From how it sounds, it sounds like you're just by yourself, mm. surrounded by your achievements. Mm -hmm. I know you're busy now. You're a workaholic, you said. Um, but a time will come when yeah. you will need, yeah. you will yes. need yeah. someone to talk to, mm -hmm. if for nothing at all, just yeah. for the companionship. Mm -hmm. and, and you may have you know, um, put everybody else, else off. Mm -hmm. you know. So I think you should approach this carefully. I'm not saying jump into marriage. But what about dating? Yes, you know, mm -hmm. get to know yeah, the guy. Um, yeah. You just might, trust me, if you even open up your life to him, mm -hmm. You just might be the one who says, Charlie, let's do this. Let's jump, yeah. you know. Yeah. But definitely give him an opportunity because all these achievements really need, well, mean nothing if at the end of the day you're just going to be by alone, your alone alone. self. You know, we're social beings. We're meant to do this with other people. Yeah. Um, so even if not in marriage, find a companion. And I don't know what your religious beliefs are, but I'm just saying find someone to do this journey with. It makes it a whole lot easier.